John Fox and Son of Johnny West. I'm having a Jan Gam Romper V3 Killing Harmony Adventure. I forgot to flip myself on the monitor. Um, uh, somebody got murdered. Wasn't any of these people. But let's see what they have to say about it themselves. Huh? Why is the bridge here? If it's snowing this much, any clues might get buried. Maybe that's what the cult were wanted. I knew it was going to be like this, but <laughs> it's cold. My apologies. For doing that murder earlier. No need to apologise. I'm not quite certain why he's apologising anyway. Isn't this the signboard? The mirror threw it into the river? Whoops, my hand slipped. It's not no. like some other signboard, right? She said there was only one of them. It's definitely no. the same. I brought back the one that was stuck on the rocks in the river. So that's what happened. There's something bothering me. The rocks that that signboard got caught on weren't on the chapel side of the map. They were on the mansion side. What about that bothers you? It just got washed from the chapel to the mansion. Okay, what? Yes, the water doesn't go that way. Okay. Just got washed from the chapel to the mansion, right? From the chapel to the mansion, that's odd. The flow of the river. Shoot. Think about it later, bro. Let's get moving. Alright, now we need to investigate the scene. Signboard used this bridge has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. I feel like you could just jump across. Maybe not in the avatar state, but still. So it would go down here. As I thought. The scene of the crime has not been altered since I found her. So... There's no possibility that someone tr tried to tamper the crime scene afterwards. Okay. That's for sure. It's just like how we left it. I'm pretty confident in my memory. I memorized a magic spell that would take a whole year just to chant. If you're thinking I'm lying, I could start the chant right now, you know. Oh, thank you. I do not think I could wait a whole year. The lockdown avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains unchanged. Look at all the stuff scattered around here. What could have happened? Jeez. That's what we're going to start investigating right now. Isn't that right, Shuichi? Uh, right. Okay. Is this a piece of lattice? Why is this here? That is a mysterious object. Uh, it's a wooden mat. It used to be common in bathrooms. I'd say so. Um, I didn't see anything like that at the chapel. Where did it come from? Not from the chapel. And why is it here? I just figured it out with my magic. You did? Someone used that instead of the signboard to cross the river, maybe. That someone is the culprit. No. I don't think so. The river's current is pretty fast. Even if he did use it to cross, there's no reason it would be here. I know that. I was just testing you a little. Why would you want to test me? What does that mean? Or something like this? But what does this mean? What's something like this doing here? 
I'm not positive why this lattice is, is left here, but I'm sure it must have something to do with the case. The lattice near chapel has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. So yeah, there's no way to that section. Get caught at that rock it has to come from here. So yeah, I think she's right. I think we could hear. Oh, can you hear me? Can we test this out, please? This is a hammer. What's the point of objects that can't hurt you in the virtual world if they can actually hurt you? Why would there be a hammer in this world? I rewrote all the program, the program to delete ob dangerous objects that can be used as weapons. Mew said she deleted dangerous objects. Can't imagine she'd miss a hammer. I'm guessing that's Kokichi. Was Miu lying? But why would she lie? Is this a cell phone? There are cell phones in this world? But what could they be for? That's no. it, it's a phone, so... Cell phone! I can't believe there's something like this here. Perfect timing. I'd like you to help me out with something. I just want to test something out. Help you out? Come on, man. I'd never say no to a favour for my sidekick. Better. Thank you. What do you need me, you know, me to do? Is that you don't right? have to do anything. You just have to stand here. I'm just going to stand here. Kaito Momota. He locked out. It. Just as I thought. This can be used to log out. Just like the phone in the salon. This proves it doesn't have to be the person themselves. You just say their name. You can log out anyone you like. All right. I see. Thanks to Kato's help, I'm starting to pin this down. Cell phone has been added to the trooper bullet section of your monopod. Glitch might occur. Hmm. Well, I heard Kiba's voice. So I'm just reading this out. This is the one I wanted. Let's see. I mean, I guess that's how they logged Kaito out, but what was it used for other than that? But Kaito was pretty surprised when he logged out all of a sudden. Should apologize for that later. Miu's avatar was frozen, collapsed in the snow. The logged out avatar disappears, but if the real body dies, the avatar remains. Makes sense for the killing game simulator. If the body disappears, we couldn't investigate. The avatars never show injuries, so they stay the same. She still looks almost alive. Her face is so pretty here, isn't it? It's hard to believe she's dead. Yeah. Okay. Miu's avatar has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopod. Well, that reminds Actually. me, you can't leave footprints in the snow, can you? 
Looks that way. Right. This is a killing game simulator. Probably because yeah. footprints in the snow would make the finding the culprit easy. So the snow probably isn't a clue for this case. Himiko, could hey. you tell me about when you found Miu one more time? That we were looking for the secret of the outside world at the chapel. But since Miu volunteered to check outside for the chapel, she was separated from us. A while after we searched, started the search, we had heard a really loud sound outside. Something must have hit the wall of the chapel really hard. We felt it from way in, from inside. Something hit the chapel wall. Hmm. So we all rushed outside to check the side of the chapel and we found Mew's avatar. And then we all tried to go into the mansion and log out to check Mia's really real body. But when we got to the river, the bridge was gone for some reason. Then while we were standing around wondering what to do, you guys showed up. I got it. Thank you. There must be some clue in that account. Something wrong, Kibo. Um, Is something bothering you? I just remembered well. something. I think the whispering I heard overheard might be relevant to the case. You heard uh, whispering? Um, I did not intend yes. to eavesdrop, but I did hear it. Shortly before we gathered at the chapel disap and dispersed to begin searching. Oh, yeah. Kokichi said something to me, I completely forgot. Seen Kokichi and Mio had made some plans to meet each other. Meet each other? Huh? Kokichi was yes. confirming the specific place they were supposed to meet. I couldn't hear the whole conversation, but I'm certain the rooftop was mentioned. Those yeah. two met on the rooftop? But it's strange, well... right? They're planning to meet on the mansion's rooftop. Why did Mio volunteer to search the area around the chapel? Well, it's true. Right. They were meeting on the roof. She would have wanted to search the mansion. Either way, she shouldn't have been able to get to the rooftop. She was searching the area around the chapel, which is where we found her avatar. Okay. Everything's pointing at Kokichi, but it seems too obvious. So... Oh, sorry, uh, you're the... So that they... They met at the chapel. So Kukic is keeping something secret, right? They met at... They didn't meet at the chapel, they met at the rooftop. Uh, when he was logged out. Miu logged him out so they could use the rooftop to meet. That toilet paper was probably thrown to show they could cross. The river says you can definitely walk from right to left using without using the metal. You might. Oh, I get it. I know what the lattice is for, I think. It's quite a long distance. I'm not 100% sure. She was searching... Okay, my idea was that you could jump from one roof to the other, but that doesn't make any sense. She was searching the area around the chapel, which is where we found her avatar. With no bridge to cross the river, she could not have gone from the chapel to the mansion. That's true. Something is strange about all of this. Miu and Kokichi's meeting has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Okay, I finished my investigation of this area. All the evidence points at Kokichi, and I think it's Kibo still. Shuichi. It would seem that we've not so itchy, Kokichi. Uh, it would seem we finished investigating this place. Yeah. Okay. Hey, there's something I wanted to ask. Can our avatars hide objects? Uh... It seems like you can put stuff in clothes here too, just like the real world. I see, just like the real world. So what are we gonna do? Are we 
going back to the real world already. Before that, I have one more place I have to investigate. Mansion rooftop. Hey, well then. The place Mio and Kokichi were supposed to meet, the place Kaito logged out. I'm positive it has something to do with the case. There should be clues there. I don't really get it, but if you want to investigate, then let's go do that, Suichi. You're right. Suichi, um, everyone is counting on you, including myself. Please give Shuichi. the class trial everything you've got and see us through to the end. And I'll do my best as well, of course. And I as well. I can at least do that. I'm a detective after all. been denying us the rooftop ever since the murder. What was that all about? Oh, sorry, sorry. Kaito, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to see if I could log out using the cell phone. Then tell me first. Jeez. That was bad for my heart. I suddenly got logged out. I panicked and rushed back here. Sorry. Okay. Come on now. That's enough. Don't interfere with the investigation. It wasn't interfering. Wait. Why did you guys come back here? Did you already finish investigating? I wanted to investigate the rooftop next. What's important about the rooftop? Wasn't Mio at the chapel the whole time? We found her on the ground next to it. Now, now, let's believe in Suichi's reasoning. Suichi can do it for sure. He's the ultimate detective after all. You're gonna be like that! And do what you want, investigate the rooftop or whatever. But Suichi is my sidekick. In other words, his deductions are my deductions. And my deductions are his. What are you, some credit stealing bully? Well, I'm going to investigate Mio's avatar since I got it interrupted last time. Sorry. Let's go well to the then. rooftop. We should. Yeah. No! <laughs> Something's going on! Timed it. I didn't think this investigation would last this long, to be honest. What's that? That's weird. Mio and Kokichi were supposed to meet on this very rooftop, according to Kibo. And the person in charge of searching this area, Kaito, was forcibly logged out. This area That's must true. have something to do with the case. Might not be directly connected to the case, but I should inspect these binoculars. I can see that this building is on top of a hill. And I can't see past this point because it's the map's loading point. But that is strange. Why would the map loading point be right in the middle of the world? Something doesn't quite seem doesn't seem right. Okay, so that's telling us. That it's not, it's the same, that it's the edge, yeah. The storage room. It's a little different from how I remember. I feel as if something is missing. But I wasn't paying close attention the first time, so I don't remember. Wrong, Himiko. When murders happen in a mansion in the snows like this, there are always locked room mysteries created by piled up snow. Isn't that right? But it's disappointing that you can't leave footprints on the snow in this world. Is that something to be disappointed about? I see. What's wrong, Sumugi? Hey. Look at the doorknob. It's locked. It's a fun time lock. Ah, it is. Easy to lock. 
seems you can't lock it unless you're on the outside. Look! The keyhole is on this side of the door. Isn't it usually the other way around? Not necessarily. No. I've seen this before. To prevent you from locking yourself out. That's so. This rooftop has a lock on the door. That is important information. Kibo, um. did you find anything? This is different. Hmm. There's nothing here that seems to be to resemble a clue. But Mio should have arranged to meet with Kokichi here. I thought we could at least confirm whether or not she really came to the rooftop. But unfortunately, there were no clues to indicate that. Okay, so maybe the lattice was used to toboggan off this rooftop? I mean, you could just quite easily walk off. Did Mio ever come to the roof? That is an important question. Kiba, I wanted hey. your opinion on something. Do you think you could get up and down from this roof from outside the mansion? Yes. Wow. Really? No, that would have been very difficult. Hmm. This rooftop is rather high. Is it? It looks like you could just walk. Even if the edge of the rooftop is roughly the height of a tree to a four-story building. Yes, You're certainly right. too high to jump. Which means it would have been impossible to climb up from the outside. That means the only way... So this rooftop is the stairs. Ah, I've inspected everything here. All that's left now is... Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. Aki, why are you here? I thought you were analysing the programme. Monotaro has finished analysing the programme. They told me to gather everyone. You finished? We should probably head back then. Our investigation here is pretty much done, right? Yeah, you're right. Okay. I've investigated everything I need to, to. Well then, Shuichi. we'll head back first. I don't, I don't wanna, wanna say goodbye to my avatar. Did you like it that much? We should go. Man. What's wrong? Hey. You. Well, you're definitely more reliable in a class trial than out. All the others think so too. What? I'm not trying no. to sound like Kaito, but I don't think you should carry all that burden alone. You're Suichi Saihara, before you before you're a detective. Don't ever forget that. Well, I shouldn't be talking. I threw away my identity as Maki Harakawa to be an assassin. Maki? Thank you. Was she being considerate just now? Yeah, my face should definitely shouldn't be able to go there. <sighs> yeah, let's out. You've got the cell phone on you. It's just you and me. We should log out too. Did Why? something happen between you and Kaito? What? Huh? When he logged out a little while ago, he looked like he was in a bad mood. That was probably Sorry. my fault. Don't know about it. Yeah. The idiot is simple, so I'm sure he'd forgive you if you apologised. I'll go do that now. Suichi uh, Sahara. Um... the device off my head and the real world appeared before me. Isn't the real world way better than some virtual reality? Anyway, I felt so lonely without you around. Apologize for making me feel unloved. Something I wanted to ask you. Hmm, I totally didn't draw anything on your tummy while you were logged in. My tummy? What? I'm kidding. So what was it that you wanted to ask? Is you plan to meet Mio on the roof, right? Did you end up meeting her? 
Do you know about that, Suichi? Impressive, Mr. Ultimate Detective. Then I'll okay. tell you what happened. I never met up with Mio. I couldn't get to the rooftop because it was locked. Locked? Huh? After I gave up and went to the back of the salon to search the outside. Okay, we didn't get a clue about. Hang on. The keyhole is on this side of the door. You can't knock it unless you're on the outside. Thumb turn lock. Um, because if it was Kaito, he could have killed her on the roof and just thrown her, then knocked himself out. But if he's going to log himself out, he could just kill her in the real world. He didn't know there was a log. I gave up and went back to the salon to search for the secret of the outside world. Is that true, um. Kokichi? Are you doubting me? Can someone yes. verify that you were at the salon the entire time? Did you meet anyone there? No, I don't have a witness. But right? you can also say there's no witness who can prove I wasn't there. Unless you saw hey. the salon empty yourself. Well, it's up to anyway. you whether you want to believe me or not. Should Shouldn't we doubt me like that. We're partners. Which one is it? Did Kokichi meet with me or not? Is he lying or telling the truth? Which is it? Kokichi in the salon's been added to the triplet section of your monopad. We leveled up. I've been waiting for you, Suichi! I'm sure Maki already told you, but I finally finished analysing the programme. I'm okay. starting to put together a lot of information, important facts, so here they are. He really is trying to be our friend, at least a little bit. First, the person who tampered with the programme was Mummy, just like we suspected. Mummy has an eccentric way of writing her code, so I knew it was her right away. I guess her personality wasn't the only thing eccentric about her. So what did she tamper with? A few things, but I'll share the first one with you. It looks like Mummy deleted a lot of objects from this killing game simulator. She said she deleted anything that could be used as a weapon. But in that case, why was there a hammer? That's true. Okay. Only the hammer was left. But why was it left, hmm? The way the program was written makes it seem like she did it on purpose. On purpose? Did she add anything? We found a cell phone in the virtual world. No, that cell phone was in the original feature of the program. That implies Mew hid the fact from us means... All Mummy added were two with the two maps, and the rest were already a part of the program. While way. we're talking about objects, I wanted to ask you something. We used the signboard to cross the river, but we could have used could we have used something else as a bridge? I didn't really see anything that could be used as a bridge to cross the river, apart from that lattice. So only that signboard could have been used as a bridge. Hmm. What's the next thing she tampered with? It looks okay. like she tampered with the certain parameters of the program. Parameters? Huh? Everything in that program is categorized as either human or non-human object. Of course, everyone's avatar was assigned the human parameter. But for some reason, Mummy gave her avatar the non-human object parameter. That's... What happens when you become an object? 
Well, the difference is for identification purposes, so it probably didn't affect anything. Well... If it didn't, if it didn't affect anything, then why would she have gone out of her way to do that? Perhaps that ah. has something to do with the next thing she tampered with. So... Mummy added a wall that didn't originally exist in the program. The coordinates of the virtual world are represented on X axis and a Y axis. And it seems Mummy added a wall that runs the length of the Y axis. She created an, an additional wall. Hang on. There were walls. I should have done that for that. There were walls in all four directions and two down the y-axis. But you're hey. positive there was only one. Yep, okay. it, it's definitely the only one. But what does that mean? Which wall was the one Miu added? What was the wall like originally? Miu said there wasn't anything past the wall. Is that another lie? Um, also, it looks like that extra wall was given a special setting. Yeah, you know what? I was literally just about to guess that. Damn it. A setting that allows non-human objects to pass through it. Yeah. So she... She could go back and forth, no one else could. But that doesn't mean she wasn't thrown. It allows objects through. That's very interesting. Are all those things... All those the things she tampered with? There's one more thing! So, um... One of you guys also had a strange setting given to their avatar. Strange setting. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, the setting made it so they would be unable to move if Mummy touched them. Then. So if Miu touched them, the avatar would be paralyzed. Who was it? <laughs> it was Kokichi. It was me. Even I didn't know that. I wouldn't know. I never touched Miu in that world. I see. I see. I didn't even notice. Well, that's all I have to report. So we know it wasn't Kokichi. He couldn't have moved the body. And I'm saying somebody moved the body. That's the only reason that clue has to exist. Uh, I'm assuming Mio wanted to kill Kokichi. <laughs> Do you think it'll help you guys out? That helps okay. a lot. Thanks. Mew's avatar has been updated in the True Bullet section of your monopad. All added by Mew has been added to the True Bullet section of your monopad. Setting on Kokichi's avatar has been added to the True Bullet section of your monopad. Ah. I thought I should probably tell you this too. Though it probably is not related to the case. Some sort of avatar user error occurred when you logged in for the first time. An error? Uh, um. Avatar user error. The contents of the error are unknown, so I can't provide any details. But something strange definitely happened to somebody's avatar when you all logged in. Well... I don't think anyone's avatar was acting strange, though. What kind of error could it be? That's important information. Avatar error has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad.
That thing where everyone stands in a circle and talks about the dead body. Hmm? Low energy? Me? No, no, I'm excited. Really. I'm just taking a little break right now. When I'm done, I'll be my usual energized self. Yep, I'll be way more energized. Anyway, that's all. Okay. Hey! You seem like you're not into it at all. We don't have to do the class trial, you know. But it's gonna start, huh? We know can stop it anymore. You're right. So. This is all I can tell you guys, but I don't want any of you to forget. I'm your I... friend. What? Just decided we're friends. I you... feel relieved. <laughs> don't worry, Monotaro. Suichi will get revenge for Miyu's death, and he'll get that revenge. <coughs> By finding the culprit among us! He's right. The culprit is someone here. Thank Thanks. you, everyone. Thank you so much. When the class trial is over, I hope we can all, can all get to know each other better. Uh. That's the kind of line that triggers a death flag. Yes, it is. I want okay. a fresh start! I want to make up for my past mistakes! That too. Hey. Okay. Himiko, how did you not notice this when Tenko said this to you? Meeting uh, you all is really... It's nothing. Sorry. I'll save it for after the class trial is finished. <laughs> the flag yeah. is rising. What was that? Huh? I think I heard someone over there. All right. I'll go check it out all by myself. <laughs> so long. Farewell. It seems really lonely when it's just the one of them. What it's waving say? in the wind! Quit this screwing around. Stupid. Let's hurry up and go. Go to do his best. Going to do his best to be even a little bit useful for everyone. Look at him. Look at him in the background. Being a murderer. Wow. I'm so excited! I'll definitely expose the cop with this time. What's so exciting about this? With conflicting emotions in our hearts, we headed to the Shrine of Judgment. Mew's hands would clasp around her neck as if she was gasping for air. Her eyes were wide open in panic. She must have suffered quite a bit. Okay. Hmm. I like one of my ideas was that she wasn't dead. Hang on. That he she was killed. No, she couldn't have been killed later. Six thirty. We'll talk the time. Yes, I, I didn't really need to walk, but it's great. It's like a walk of shame or something. Um, we're going to start the trial of Popper next episode. I, I, we might see the start of it because I don't want to like cut off 10 minutes just because I want to tie things up neatly. But like my, my gut says it's Kibo. But all of my guesses have been wrong so far. Uh, yeah, I thought it was Sumugi and Kibo because their booms just got added as well. Maybe the glitch made one of them murderous? Like, the motives have all been, like, un unpossible. I was about to say the word unpossible. <laughs> Impossible to guess. But there was no way to know ahead of time that she was the president.
Okay, the first motive sort of makes sense. business. Yeah, the clothes are going to be for a later thing. You know what, we've actually made pretty good time. Looks like that. Uh, um... Looks like that everyone. This is everyone, huh? There's not less of us now. This is just half of what we started with. But we're allowed because we allowed this game to continue. We must stop it somehow. Right. We can't stop now. We can't let the fun end. Cut it out. I'm certain this trial will be the last one. Let's hey. focusing on surviving this class trial first. You're right. If we mess up here, our numbers will go down even quicker. It'd just be the cop that left. But... This might be okay. Maybe that's just another way to stop the killing game. If we all die, then the killing game would end. Don't say what? stupid crap like that. It's pointless if we all die. We don't oh, have to gosh. worry because we've got the ultimate detective on our side. We know it's definitely not her. Time for the detective to shine. Suichi, please keep up the good work. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my okay. best. I'm actually really glad this is the first time any of the games have gone. That guy's solving all the puzzles. <laughs> yes, I have to keep it together. This is the only time my talent can shine. I'm not just saving my life. Everyone's life is on the line. If I can't find the truth here, everyone will be sacrificed. And it will n I will never let that happen. Hey, oh, Suichi. Man. You're getting all tense. What? Huh? Didn't I tell you I before, mean... Suichi? Don't carry the burden all. Oh, Didn't I tell it? you before not to get in the way, Kaito? What's your oh. problem? You We're really all relying on Suichi you. to carry our asses for this class trial, okay? You're like a parrot repeating the same lines over and over. You're bothering him. I think no. that's the most annoying thing you can do, Suichi. You can do to Suichi, you know that? What do you mean, huh? I'm not... Suichi, yeah. you're annoying. Whoa, killer girl's glaring at me. I was only kidding around. Maki's glare seemed to do the trick as Kokichi turned around, dejected. Finally, the pest is gone. Thanks, Maki Roll. Suck it up, Kaito. Now's not the time to be bickering with each other. Got My it. bad. Sorry. Kaito, I'm um, okay. I know well. what you want to say, Kaito. You don't have to worry. I See, in that case, you. I I'll believe in you, and I won't say anything else. But if you have Should any problems, you? let me know. I'll help you. I'm here for you, bro. Kaito. Thank you. We all know it definitely wasn't Maki. You didn't forget, right? Remember who you are. Make sure you never forget that. Miu certainly um, wasn't perfect, but it doesn't mean she deserved to be killed. No one deserves what happened to her. Not a single person. Um, okay. A thought occurs to me. I'm watching someone else play this game, but he's he's back at chapter two, right? Or something like that. I'm like I never watch somebody get ahead of me that won't make any sense. But one thing he's done uh, is he has hung out with I've forgotten her name now. Uh, the the girl who just died, Mew. He's on like date three or something at this point. And the story of her is that, like, she got in a car accident and then suddenly became a genius. 
So she thinks she's superhuman and wants to cut herself open and see why that happened. So the reason she made herself an object because she might think she's an object? What I'm getting at here is that Mio might have killed herself. Testing the limits. I'm going to examine the evidence, but I guess I'm going to let you go now. I've been John Fox in Tunnel Tunnel of the West. I've been having a dang gun romper. Be free. Killing the Harmony Adventure. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for watching.